what is up guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl Nisha Bryan I'm going to show you a quick little video of my new washer let me take that back my portable washing machine and my portable dryer I got these both off of Amazon I'm going to tell you guys all about it this is a lifesaver if you don't know I live on the fifth floor no elevator in an apartment and this has saved my life my life and my dad's life because we do not have to truck that cart up and down the steps every week it's just a lifesaver i love it you guys are gonna love it so i'm gonna explain to you why i love it i'm gonna go ahead and flip over and just show you some footage of what it looks like how it works and i'll give you the background of it one pro of the washing machine is that it did come with a dent on the back a really bad dent i'm gonna show you that in the video i'll even insert some pictures so you can see it but i did contact the seller and they gave me a partial refund a partial refund of like 52 dollars and some change but you know what it's better than nothing and plus the washing machine still works very well it makes a little it doesn't make a loud loud noise but it does have a noise I don't know if that's because the the tub is hanging up against the dented part I, I don't know but listen I live on the fifth floor and to get that thing up the steps I had to drag it up the steps me by myself no help same thing with the dryer I had to drag it up five flight of steps my back was hurting a little bit you know whatever you know whatever but it, it is what it is. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let me show you the washer. Let me show you the dryer. Let me show you how it works. Let me give you the pros, the cons. Only con of the washer was that, the dent. And again, it's it's big and it looks bad. But I mean, it is what it is. The washing machine still works. So let's just go ahead and switch on over to the washing machine. All right, guys. We're in my kitchen. Whoop, whoop. And this is the Black & Decker washer machine. It is the 1.9 cubic feet, I think, or cubic, whatever, I don't know. But I'll have the exact link in the description box below. Um, it's pretty deep. As you can see, I moved the clothes. That's how it goes all the way to the bottom. And this is what it looks like. Just wanted to show you. I have a pair of sweatpants. I have some leggings. I have shirts, some boxers. Um, even a little blanket to be washed. Um, I have my little loofer that I use. This one you can actually wash in the machine. So I wash that weekly. And then on this side here is just the filter. You can take that out and open it and clean it. And that's how much, you know, dirt is in there now. And I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to throw that in the garbage. Anyway, and you should clean that out each wash. So good thing I checked it. Um... You don't have to wash this little, like this is a little bit of clothes. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty deep. I actually have it on a dolly. This is like a rolling cart I got from Amazon. I'll have that link below as well. You can adjust the, the length and the width of it. And we're just going to close that. All right. And then what I do is I'll just normally roll it on over to my sink because it's stationed right here in the kitchen. I've made a spot for it. We're going to roll it over. See, and it just rolls. Now, I can already tell you off the back the con of this. I love this thing. I love it, love it, love it. It has one con, and I'm going to show you what it is. As you can see, it has a little baby dent here, right there. And then if you go to the other side, let me just turn the light on. Maybe I'd get a little bit more light. All right, yeah. If you go to the other side, you'll see this whole thing is dented. Now, this machine makes a little bit of noise. It's not a lot. I personally think that it makes more noise than it's supposed to because this is dented in and maybe the tub is hitting it. But yeah, um, mine came dented. So what I did was contact the seller. Here on the back here, you have a code. You have a cold hose. You have something for the cold water. You have something for the hot water. <clears throat> I only plug it up to the cold because apparently you're supposed to use cold water. But honestly, I use a bunch of hot water. So yeah, this is the regular plug that you will plug into your wall. That's what that is. And then if you go around to the other side, you will see this is where it sucks the water out of the machine and into your sink. And this is just the hook part that you're going to hook onto the sink. So let's just roll it over here. And I'm doing this with one hand, so don't mind me. I'm going to roll it over here to the sink. This piece right here came with the washing machine you have to unscrew the piece that's already you see it. if I turn this I will take it out you have to unscrew your part that's on your sink and then plug this in and then with this you can just keep it here as an adapter you don't have to switch it out all you gotta do is hook the machine up and pull it back out 
Um, with this though, it does make the water go a little retarded. See? It's not like your regular faucet. It does make you go a little retarded. What you do with the water, oh, it's leaking on me. It's wet, okay. So this is what you have here. This is the little hose. You just pull this down and you're gonna pull it up here. Let me see if I can get close. So if you pull this down and then just push it up, it connects automatically. And to take it back down, you just like that. It's easier with two hands. I, trust me, it's definitely easier with two hands. You want to plug your machine in. And once you plug it in, you're going to come back to this side and lift this little guy up. Now with this little hose, it's supposed to hook onto your sink. Obviously one hand is not working, one second. It's supposed to hook onto your sink, but what I do is as a little tricky trick, I don't know if this is meant for it, but I kind of hook it in here on this little piece hook right here. See how that just kind of snaps in there? And put it like this. Now you may need some extra support, so if you do need extra support, you might want to get some tape. I recommend you getting some type of tape. This is the tape that I use. I use this to paint my house with, so yeah, that's what that is. I'm just gonna push the washer up some. Oh, I push the washer up a little bit just to kind of hold it in place. So if it does get a little loose, it ain't gonna go far. And if you wanna get a little extra, extra. Now you don't have to put the tape. I just put this because I wanna make sure this thing came out twice and I used it probably like eight times, but it only came out twice. But you know, if you wanna get extra piss, I'm a little heavy on there to hold it. You don't have to, but I'm just saying. Um, once this is all hooked up, you can go ahead and turn the water on. Now I turn it on hot all the time, but because I want you guys to see it filling up and extra stuff, I'm not gonna use hot water, I'm gonna use cold. So you're gonna turn it. Oh wait, hold on. Make sure that's on tight. You see my thing just came out, hold on. Yeah. All right. See, look at that. Purposes of the video. Make sure your thing is on tight. It might have got loose when I hit it. So let me see. All right. Yeah. So now it's fine. Let's see. Okay. It's nothing leaking. It's fine. Just make sure it's tight. All right. So you can leave that on during the whole process. You do not have to run about and turn it off and on. So then you press the on button. And once you turn it on, all right, it doesn't blink like this on a normal, it's just blinking because of the camera. Um, my settings is already set. Well, I think it comes pre like this. On wash, I put it on large, it's warm water, and then bulky, aka heavy. If the light is solid, it's for the left side. If it's not solid and blinking, it's for the right side. It's only blinking because of the camera, but in real life, trust me, it is not blinking. So I'm just gonna put hot water, even though <laughs> I'm gonna use cold. You can actually do an extra rinse if you wanna do an extra rinse. I don't have to do an extra rinse. Sometimes if you know you're like heavy handed with the soap, you know, put extra rinse. This is the program, so program it'll take you from delicate. See how it's blinking off and on? Spin only. And the time will change as well. But you know, you could just do normal. Or you could do heavy. Um, I always do heavy because I just like the extra spin and the extra wash time just to make sure. Go back to hot. Um, and then I always put large load. Even if it's a small load, the time is still the same. Unless you change, unless you change the program to like delicate or I mean to spin only or quick, that's when the time changes. Let me show you. See, F quick will be 15 minutes. That's you don't. <laughs> I don't know what you're washing in that. Something bulky like a comforter, but I've never put a comforter in it. It's 59 minutes. That's like an hour wash. That's just ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna go back to. I know we do heavy, right, to get the extra washes out. And then over here, you can just pick the procedure that you want if you just want wash. I don't know why this doesn't, okay, it does soak. I don't do soak. I don't think my stuff needs to soak. But if you want it to soak, you have an option. So just remember, this is, it looks really small, but honestly, it fits a lot of stuff. Like I was able to wash two sets of queen size sheets in here, plus more clothes, plus towels. And trust me when I tell you, I, I maximize this thing to the max. Like I I push it to the to it can't be pushed no more. That's me. 
All right, so now that we have that in here, what I use to wash my clothes are, is Arm & Hammer. Okay, this is my, once I bought this washing machine, I tried out the pods. I did not want to buy it and support them in the laundromat. In my mind, I felt like the me buying pods was supporting the laundromat and cleaning their machine. I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like pods is personal, it's for personal use. I finally got a washing machine so I could use it. So what I'll do is normally add one of these in there and then some soap. This is a small load. I really don't need one of these, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So let me show you. And you just throw it in there. All right, so you wanna put your, your detergent and your bleach in here. This is where you will put it. I honestly, and I don't care what y'all say, I sprinkle it on the clothes and I put some in there as well. So let me just do that. Yes, I definitely go heavy on it. So I poured some in there and I put it in there and it drips out. And you just press that close and you see it's still dripping out. Now, once you got everything you need inside, it's real simple. All you got to do is press start. And that's when the water is going to start pouring in. So pour the water in. And then it just start washing, like turning the tub left to right, like And then once it gets to 27, that's when it just rinse and pour into the sink. And then that's when I'll come back and show you guys. But I'm just going to show you it filling it up right now. Oh, wait, pause it. I forgot to add my socks. The good thing is you can actually pause it. <laughs> and take off your socks like I did because I stepped in a bunch of water. Okay. All right, you can pause it and then put your socks in there like I just did and press play again and it's gonna go back to filling up with some water. I honestly love this washing machine. Like there's nothing you can tell me. Even with the dent, I don't care. I don't care. Um, after this, I'll show you guys the dryer. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just going to show you filling. I'll show you washing a little bit, and then we'll just head over to when it's done, and I'll show you rinsing out, and then I'll show you the dryer that I have. The dryer I have is not the same brand as this. The dryer is the Panda dryer, and that one's pretty big. It's about, I think, 3.5 cubic. I'll, um, I may be saying it wrong, so I'll just leave the dimensions and everything on the screen for you guys, and I'm sorry in advance about that. For this machine, I paid about $4.79 um, with tax, about $500. And then later on, once it was damaged and, you know, once I got it, I tried to contact the seller, I saw it for $3.14. So you guys may be lucky. It may be $3.14 right now. So if it is, um, <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'm definitely happy for you, but I paid a little bit extra because it was sold out and it was like the last one. And when it's the last one, it hiked the price up. So, okay, so it's filling with water right now all the way up, as you can see. All right, so I filled up with water and now it's just washing. So it's gonna go left to right. And at first I was like, it's only going left to right. This is not gonna clean the clothes. But then as it spins, you'll see the clothes start switching around and stuff at the bottom coming to the top and stuff at the top going to the bottom. If I open it, it's just gonna stop. See, it gives you an error message if you open it. So you gotta close it back, hit play. As you can see, it's spinning and moving things around. Okay, once it gets to 27, it starts doing that, like a quick little spin spin. And then it's going to start draining the water out. So let's just look at it.
as you can see, it's just like a regular washing machine. It's going to take all this water out, drain it, and then it's going to fill back up with water to rinse. So at this point, I'm going to turn the water hot. You guys already seen it fill up, so I can turn it hot. I just did cold because I didn't want to steam up. So as it's doing that, I'm just going to turn it to hot. And then you'll see once it fills up, it's going to start getting cloudy. So like if you need a piece of tape, I don't really need this. Day. I'm just using it for example. You can use whatever you need to hold it down. Oh, I guess I was wrong. It's going to give it one more spin. I'm sorry to get the extra water out. And as you can see, it's going pretty fast to be a, you know, a portable washer. It's getting all the extra little soap out. And then spun all that out. It should be filling back up with water now. So now it's going to start the rinse process at 23 minutes. And it's going to get foggy because that's hot water. So, yep, the rinsing at 23. As you can see, that hot water is coming up. I know most machines where I did reviews, you couldn't use hot water at all. This one, <laughs> you definitely can. So, yeah. All right, so once that happens, it's going to spin twice, and then that's that. Now, let's move over to the dryer. This is my dryer. I just have it inside my living room next to the couch. And this thing right here is a... Normally, this is supposed to go out the window, but, you know, nobody's dragging this over to the window. So, I just end up buying this pro flex thing here um, all you gotta do is hook it up to the back of the machine which is right there and you zip tie around both ends you put some water in here and you let it go so this is the panda machine here um so anything like to 20 minutes this is cool this is hot this goes all the way up to two hours as you can see and then you have the green over here, which is air dry. I never air dried. I never will, but <laughs> that's air dry. And this is the outside of it. And you open it. This is the inside. It's pretty big. Very big. That's the filter that you would clean out, just like what I did with the washing machine. You would take that out. You could vacuum it out or, you know, just wipe it off however you want to do it. And this one actually has an additional filter here. Over there. You see that? And put it back on here. Okay. And then, yeah, when you turn this one on, it just sounds like this. It sounds like a regular dryer. And then you can feel the air coming out of here as well. So let me just stop that. So this dryer, I do like it. I was able to fit some sheets in here. So sheets and towels, um, I would say sheets, maybe you're going to have to give it like a good hour to dry but that's just like with any regular dryer as well so I'm not too mad about that plus I'm in my house I can go sit down and chill or whatever the case is I'll have everything linked below for you guys if you want to purchase this I am going to do like a six month update so six months from now I'll give you guys an update tell you if I still like it if it's still any pros any cons did I switch it out did I send it back did I get a new one or whatever the case is I hope you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe below if you have a dryer washer and you know you like it and you think it's better than mine leave it down below if you want to purchase this one leave it down below again I will have links for you guys and I will see you guys in the next video